Hello. So here we will talk about the second degree burns. Those occur due to different causes like hot water, flames, electricity, chemicals, and so on. And they look like that in the pictures. Those are two examples of them. And here we will explain them in details. Please like this video so it reaches more people. So what is really a second degree burn? So a second degree burn is an injury involving the epidermis and the dermis. Those are skin layers. So in the skin we have three layers. We have the epidermis and we have the dermis and we have the subcutaneous layer. And each layer of those have different layers by itself. And during the second degree burn, two of those layers will be burned, the epidermis and the dermis. And we have two types of the second degree burns. We have the superficial partial thickness and the deep partial thickness. The second degree burns are also called the partial thickness burns. So we can call them superficial partial thickness burn or superficial second degree burn. So a superficial partial thickness burn extends into the papillary dermis, which is the superficial layer of the dermis. So the dermis has two layers. It has the papillary layer and it has the reticular layer. In the superficial partial thickness burn or the superficial second degree burn, the papillary dermis is burned. The reticular dermis is fine. And in the deep partial thickness burn, a, a, the burn extends into the reticular dermis. So both of the layers would be burned in the deep uh, partial thickness burn. So first, let's talk about the superficial second degree burn presentation. So uh, again, as we, so as we mentioned, the superficial second degree burn extends into the papillary dermis only, the reticular dermis would be spared. Superficial second degree burn present with redness of the burned skin because the blood vessels still intact in the reticular dermis. So the skin in this type of burn becomes red because the blood supply to the, to the skin is in the reticular dermis and the reticular dermis is not damaged in this burn. So that's why the skin would be red. There would be intense pain because the nerve fibers are located in the reticular dermis and they are still intact. Again, the pain fibers in the reticular dermis and reticular dermis is not damaged, so there would be intense pain. There is always formation of clear blisters in the superficial second degree burn. The blisters are buckets of skin containing fluid, like this blister here. And the blisters occur because the epidermis is detaching from the from the layer below it, which is the dermis, this space would be filled with the fluid and it would become like a bucket of a fluid. The skin would be blanched to touch, meaning when you touch the skin with your finger, it would become pale or white. And when you remove your finger, it would go back to red because again, the blood supply is still intact and the skin will be moist. This type of burn spares the hair follicles and the sweaty glands because both of them are in the reticular layer of the dermis and there might be local infection in form of cellulitis is common. Now let's talk about the healing of the superficial second degree burn. So it heals without scarring or minimal scarring and it heals within 7 to 14 days and treatment with cooling the burn with running water for 10 to 20 minutes and then applying an antibiotic ointment and dressing. Now let's talk about the deep second degree burn presentation. So this type of burn is an injury to the epidermis and both layers of the dermis, the papillary and the reticular layer. And the skin appears pale because the blood supply are in the reticular layer as we mentioned before and once it is injured, this would be pale because the blood is not reaching the skin anymore. And the skin don't blanch to touch 
because again the blood supply is interrupted and it is less painful but it remains painful to bin prick it is less, less painful because the nerve endings are in the reticular layer as we mentioned before once injured the pain would be much less this is an example of a deep second degree burn so it would be pale as we mentioned as you can see in those examples it's sometimes present with the blisters and it would be a dry, a dry skin and the hair follicles and the sweat glands might be damaged or destroyed because they are again in the reticular layer of the dermis now let's talk about the healing of the deep second degree burn so it heals within two to six weeks and there would be severe scarring and contractures and may require excision and skin grafting and with that we reach the end of this video thank you guys for watching please like this video so it reaches more people and peace